Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create a good low light color grade inside of DaVinci Resolve. As you can see now, this is the clip we will be color grading, so please feel free to download this clip in the description. With that said, achieving a low light look all depends on the lighting that you create on set. So the color grading is here just to enhance the look and make your footage look very, you know, very professional. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, here's the original shot. The first thing I'm going to do is balance out the levels in the shot. So I'm going to go to Gamma and just bring that back just a little bit. Then I'm going to go to Gain. Okay, that looks okay. And then I'm going to just bring down the Gain just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and create a new node by hitting Option S on the Mac. Uh, or go up to Nodes and click in Add Serial Node. In the new node, I'm going to go ahead and increase the contrast and also the saturation in a second once I get the contrast to where I want it to be. Okay, and then saturation. All right, that's looking all right. I'm going to create a new node, and since this image looks pretty clean, I'm going to go ahead and increase the sharpen just a little bit. So I'm going to go over to this little tab thingy here and then go to sharpen and lower it just a little bit to like 0.47. And you gotta be careful when you're changing the sharpen because if you overdo it, it's really gonna make your footage really grainy. <laughs> but just a little bit uh, of a little sharpen is gonna help your footage a lot. I'm gonna create a new node. And in this node, I'm going to uh, affect the color wheels and give the clip the overall grade. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the lift here. Maybe bring it down into the blues a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, even lower the lift a little bit, uh, but making it a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just raise up the gamma a little bit. Add some more light into this clip, since it's a little too dark. Then I'm gonna move the gamma wheel over to the greens a little bit. Then I'm just gonna move the gain over just a little bit to the left, very slight. <clears throat> okay, this image doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and mess with the curves a little bit and see what else we can do with this uh, look so far. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new node, and then I'm going to go over the curves. And please make sure that um, Gang Custom Curves is unchecked. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually make this a little bit darker, you know, by just creating a couple points. I'm going to just drag this down a little bit, and maybe a little too dark. Probably maybe that was just a little too dark. Okay, then I'm going to create S curves for each of the red, green, and blue channels. So I drag the red down a little bit and click a point for the highlights, raise it up. Same thing for the green. And finally for the blue, the same thing once again. A little too much. And let's go ahead and refine the green just a touch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just retouch a few of these uh, parameters just to get it perfect to what I'm looking for. Just one tip to keep in mind when you're adjusting the curves, just be very careful since you know, you're, you're affecting three different channels, uh, red, green, and blue. You're mixing colors together, essentially. So you can easily, you know, get away from the initial color grade that you want to go after. And this tutorial is, you know, just focused on this type of color grade. And there's a many different looks that you can go after. So hopefully you can just take a few of these techniques that we went over and apply it to your own, uh, you know, film productions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will get back with you. I love talking with a fellow filmmaker. If you have the time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love making these tutorials and I love collaborating with the community. And guys, thank you so much for watching once again. And this has been Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film.